So these are incredibly strong words spoken by Jesus. Jesus spoke them on the Sabbath after doing his work on the Sabbath. He spoke them in front of the temple, the grand symbol of God's law in the minds of Jews. The Jewish leaders were intent on knowing and keeping the law, some likely for pretty good reasons. They didn't want to be exiled again. Not all the Pharisees were so kind of uptight and showy about following the rules. Some of them genuinely really did want to follow the rules because they saw how their ancestors had not followed the rules and the disaster it brought to the kingdom of Israel. Others probably for less than optimal reasons, like wanting to earn a place of prominence in the community. The Sabbath is such an interesting thing in Israel even today. The whole country takes a holiday. Banks and many businesses close. This surprises some tourists, especially those who've run out of cash and can't remember their pin. I'm not saying that happened to me, but this day off connects the Israel of today to the Israel of antiquity, and most definitely to the Jerusalem of Jesus' day. When Jesus healed the man at the pool of Bethesda, it was no surprise to Jesus how the Jewish leaders reacted. No surprise, but definitely a disappointment. Just trying to imagine the scene here at the pool of Bethesda. This is the southern pool, and it's pretty deep. This is where pilgrims came to be washed in the waters to be healed. And there's a series of steps with landings so you could go in gradually. So after Jesus healed the man, and let's pause and just gasp at, we hear this story all the time, but let's just pause to remember how miraculous that was. He couldn't move, he met Jesus, he could walk. He didn't even need to get in the pool. Jesus didn't dunk him in the pool, he just said, you're healed. Right after that, the man got up and went to the Temple Mount, which is just a 10 minute walk over in that direction. And that's where the religious leaders met. So Jesus healed the man and he came directly up here and he told the Pharisees, the religious leaders, what Jesus had done. And they were very upset with Jesus because he had healed someone on the Sabbath. So you just heard John somewhat indignantly uh, give us Jesus's reply. But I want to talk about one specific thing he said, which was, your accuser is Moses. So the Pharisees were upset because he had broken the rules of the Sabbath. They completely missed the part where he had performed a miracle, where he had given someone life. He threw Moses and the law right back at their accusations. Barnes comments, Moses might be said to accuse or reprove them. He wrote of the Messiah, clearly foretold his coming, and commanded them to hear him. As they did not do it, it might be said that they disregarded his command. The question then, ringing in the air in front of the temple that day, was this. Which is worse in the eyes of Moses, to heal a man on the Sabbath, or to reject the Messiah Moses himself had longed to see?